Hey, how's it going? We're Awake in the Empire. My name is Siobhan. I play guitar. Oh, hi. I'm James. <laughs> um, I slap on the bass. <laughs> I'm Daryl and I just beat drums all day. No big deal. He said no big deal. Drums. <laughs> <laughs> no drums. Oh. <laughs> Uh, where did the name Awake in the Empire originate, and what's the personal meaning to you? It actually, it actually started. The, the idea for Awake in the Empire was born in a volcano, <laughs> and um, it came to fruition in the formation of a phoenix that flew out of the, the volcano out of Arizona, <laughs> <laughs> and into Damien's brain. Yeah, actually, Damien and James came up with the name. Um, kind of goes with the, the, the lifestyle that we're trying to push with this man. We're trying to awaken the empire, <laughs> awaken everyone, you know, we're trying to have them stop doing what they don't want to do and just do what they want to do and pursue the only things that make them happy in life, so it's kind of where the name comes from. It's nice. Uh, why did you each begin to write or perform music? I did it because it's the only thing I'm good at. <laughs> I don't, I, well, that's I simple. Got no, I got nothing else. <laughs> music, music is my life, and that's what I do. I, I got nothing. Good enough. <laughs> I had a bunch of people tell me I couldn't do it, so I just was kind of stubborn and rebellious. And I was like, "Watch me do it." <laughs> In your face. <fist. laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know. I just I love to play music. My my dad and my family kind of. They all played music and everything, so I kind of got into it and decided that maybe I want to try this as a living, you know, just kind of cool. Nice. How was funding and releasing your EP, The Awakening, last year? It was, uh, it was pretty crazy. Like, it, it I, I think we all kind of grew by, like, doing everything that we did to push, push ourselves out there. Like, we did, we did everything by ourselves and then like we got to the point that we are right now where we didn't have like we, we had the opportunity to record with Eric Braun which is amazing and like all that came out of all the hard work that we put into I like Eric Braun. Yeah. I like Eric Braun too. <laughs> He's, He's kind of cute. cute. He's got like his little like but yeah that's we, we really learned a lot and you started to kind of answer my next question, but so how was working with Eric Rong on the <laughs> single since everything you did before was self-produced? It was uh, it was crazy. I mean, I, I, there are many a nights where Damien and uh, Eric kind of had their little skiffs, but uh, I think it all worked out well. We we kind of worked off of each other. It was one of those things where where he pushed us, and we pushed him, and the, the new albums shows all of that work that went out. It was my first time in the studio. Mm -hmm. Eric, professionally. Yeah. You know, Eric, Eric's awesome at what he does. He really pushed me to be a better musician, actually. So yeah, same here. You know, everything's like, you're doing that wrong. Oh, you're bending. Oh, yeah. you're doing that wrong. Like, oh, wow, I didn't realize like, how much I sucked. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I went home and cried a couple nights. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, he does that, but he definitely bettered us. And, uh, molded us really. So what's been the response to your new single, Cross My Heart? So far it's been pretty cool. People yeah. like it. Yeah, it's doing, it's doing really well. Yeah. We like it. Yeah. <laughs> That's all that matters. Everybody, everybody else likes it. So. Yeah. It's all good then. Yeah. your phone goes off. That's a time to leave now. This is a very important man. <laughs> Everyone's just after you. <laughs> or just a broken phone. Yeah, or he has a broken phone. <laughs> Uh, we'll go with the important guy. Well, yeah. Go with the first one. He's in training for the most important man in the world, or the most interesting man in the world. <laughs> I'm in the running. I'm in the running. Nice. Um, do you guys ever find it difficult to balance the artistry and business side of being in a band? That's a great question. <laughs> what do you think? No, I try to stay out of it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> as best as I can. We, we really like the music. Yeah. <laughs> like, we, we really try to focus on that stuff as much as we can. Especially now, it's like, <clears throat> we're just, even like, with, with our team kind of growing, like, we're focusing even more on the music, which 
which is awesome, like getting to do that more has like bettered us as a band. Like we're getting we're getting a lot stronger musically within the last couple months I would say. Well and just in a time in in a place where the music industry is so up in the air almost and so yeah. Yeah. jaded it's it's nice for us because we're we're fortunate enough to work with people who genuinely care about our music and us and are real. So I mean we've been we've been pretty fortunate. We don't we don't have we don't have any complaints. So Okay. <laughs> How important do you guys feel the image a band displays is, and is there a certain way that you wish listeners to perceive your band? I think image. Can I repeat the question, please? <laughs> Probably a couple, couple minutes. <laughs> so I'm not awkward at all, sorry. <laughs> oh, okay. Don't tease. Oh. Just keep going. It's okay. Keep it's okay. Keep going. It's all right. This is the image. I am so this is the band. <laughs> yeah. is what, is Good time. That is basically what you get. Is yeah. yeah. We, we touch and massage each other. We call it that. It's a caring message. It's a good one. It is. It is. We, care. we care. The Wake the Empire cares yeah. about you. Can we just be yourselves. That's what, that's yeah. who we are. Yeah. So that, this yeah. is who we are. We're, we're not, not. We're not fake. We're just uh, we are who we are. That's kind of what we perceive in our music and as individuals and just do what you do and Paris. Nice. What defines a good show for Awaken the Empire? <laughs> That's <an> easy. <laughs> if, if my guitar is broken in pieces, if James's bass is all bloody, if Daryl's angry, if I, yeah, if I'm angry. <laughs> Cymbal's cracking. Yeah. If, if, if Damien's on the floor at the end of the show, it was a great show. Yeah. There's, there's no no way that could have gone any better, in my opinion. Nice. <laughs> yeah, if my hand's not bruised or bloody, then it's not a good show. Yeah. Yeah, and the, like, the crazy thing is, James's bass, he doesn't clean the blood off of it. So it's kind of like, like, it's kind of like a, he's like, throwing axe or something that's like been like decorated with his own blood. I got tired of cleaning you know? it, so I'm like, what's the point? Leave it on there. It's a, it's a collage of shows. Yeah. It is. That blood splat's from that show, that blood splat is from that show. Then I think yeah. connect the dots after. It's kinda, yeah. You know. You can see them. We were here blood. then, and then, oh. I'm a visual person. Memories. <laughs> it's like a scrapbook. It, yeah, it is. It's a scrapbook of blood. Yeah. <laughs> that didn't sound creepy. No, no. Not at all. Not at all. <laughs> but, but it's James. Love it. <laughs> it's all good. Uh, what's been one of the greatest challenges and then one of the greatest accomplishments for you guys? The greatest accomplishments? I mean, other than recording with Eric, getting to, getting to go on tour, getting to play in Chicago, which is Daryl's hometown. Oh, nice. our, most, our most recent accomplishment, which I would say is our biggest, is that Alternative Press decided to premiere our, yeah. our new single. Yeah, that's it. So, that's I mean, that's, that's an honor, and we, we have to... Thank you guys very much for that. So, Love you, AP. Yep. <laughs> that was, uh, that's our, our most recent and probably one of the biggest accomplishments. So, if you guys haven't checked out our single, it's Cross My Heart. It's on alternativepress.com. Go check it out. And it is. That's my plug for the night. That's your plug for the night. <laughs> that's my Indeed. Plug. That's a nice plug. It was, yeah, it just flowed. Yeah. It flows. Right off the tongue. I didn't even realize you plugged. <laughs> There's no script on that whatsoever. No. I didn't even see a plug for you to plug in. He's been practicing that all day. <laughs> I mean, no, he hasn't. <laughs> no, I didn't write that down. <laughs> um, what? And then upcoming plans for you guys? Upcoming plans. Oh, your plans. <laughs> upcoming plans? Uh, mm -hmm. Play, tour. You're gonna check out a show at Amplify tonight? You're gonna definitely go check out a show at Amplify tonight that we were definitely not gonna be playing at tonight. Until Damien got sick. So, oh, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, we're actually we're we're gonna be uh, shooting our video for our, our single this nice. weekend actually. So um, that's coming up. We're really excited for that. Um, we're getting to work with Chad and Michael Ward again and I mean he's just amazing. We've worked with him a couple times now. He did the Awakening video mm -hmm. too. And it's just like, we, we like get each other. He gets us so well. And like, he's like every concept that he's come to the table with for us has just been amazing. Like we don't even have to like change, like we just kind of go with 
whatever. Because it's hard. <laughs> He, he, he like get, understands he gets, it. <laughs> he gets our vision very yeah, well. He, that's he, good. He knows how to convey it. He knows how to help us convey it. Nice. So, yeah. um, any last words? Don't do drugs. Stay or in school. <laughs> James? I'm good. Hi. Hugs. Hugs, I'm not drugs. Right hugs, not drugs. Hugs, not drugs. Hugs, not drugs. I mean, if you do drugs, that's, that's cool too. I kind of feel an Astro Burger. That's, that's what Astro I'm Burger. Doing. Astro Burger for <laughs> sure. To, to go back to that last question, yeah, Astro Burger. That's our I'm kind of food poisoning. Nice. Everybody this song else? is my jam. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then that song comes on and uh, it's gonna start into a dance party at Astro Burger. Yeah, that's our outro. Down. That's our outro well, music. On, <laughs> on our off days, we're in a four-piece mariachi ensemble. Yeah. Nice. Uh, we, we What's Awaken the Empire in Spanish? I don't know. <laughs> that would be a great name. I wish I knew it. <laughs> That'd be funny. I'm gonna go home and look that yeah, up. Yeah, right. Google. Google. <laughs> I don't know. You should check out your broken phone. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let me get on that. Alright. And don't forget to check out Dr. Phil weekdays at 3 p.m. <laughs> There's a giant sign. I think Dr. Phil <laughs> has been still staring smiling. at me. Look at his so smile. Smile. Super smile. smile for like the last 20 minutes. Yeah. I, I just want to put it out there. You know, like, Too big. He's not a real doctor. <laughs> <laughs>